Good evening. He may well be the most prolific serial killer in American history. Samuel Little sits in a Texas prison, and now after years of silence, he's talking, revealing more victims. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, Little claims he's killed many others across the country, including in Kentucky and right here in Tennessee. The big question is, can you believe him? Samuel Little now claims to have killed more than 90 victims, most of them women, in 14 states from 1970 to 2005. Little is already serving a life sentence for three murders, but he's 78 and may finally want to come clean. He's confided in a Texas Ranger he trusts, telling him of other victims. I think they have to take that with a grain of salt when it's coming from an inmate. Uh, you know, there has to be some sort of veracity to the information that this individual has. Police have already confirmed one of Little's claims regarding an unsolved murder in Texas, so his other claims, including some in Tennessee, are now being taken seriously. There's several different code cases, and, uh, you know, if this individual, uh, you know, has any information uh, that could, you know, somehow solve those kinds of cases, then I'm sure that everyone's going to be interested in hearing from him. Legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the process of vetting Little's claims is likely just now getting started in Tennessee and elsewhere. But there's precedent here for tracking the bloody trail of a serial killer. And then I asked him, I said, are you the person we've been looking for? And he just looked at me and he shrugged his shoulders. And then his response was, if you say so. Metro homicide detectives arrested Bruce Mendenhall in 2007. The alleged serial killer is serving life for one murder, but he's suspected of several more across the country. The thing is, Mendenhall won't talk. Little is. And Texas prosecutors think this could lead to solving cases across the country, including Tennessee and Kentucky. I always feel like justice can be delayed, uh, but it doesn't mean that it necessarily has to be denied. And in this case, there are people all over this country that haven't had answers, haven't had justice, but now they will. If Little offers specifics that can be confirmed, it's a good bet that homicide detectives here will visit with him soon in hopes of solving cold cases. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Prosecutors in Texas have not said specifically what Little has told them about murders in Kentucky and Tennessee, but he continues to talk and share details with the Texas Ranger. More to come on this still developing story.